Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to just really simply use After Effects templates. You don't need to know everything about After Effects, but this is going to really up your level of graphic design. Uh, so a lot, of a lot of times people are like, oh man, that graphic on the transcript was awesome. Just like little simple things. So I'm going to show you how to just really lightly edit one. I'll give you this actual template as well if you want to follow along, but feel free to take any of these. First, we log into Envato Elements and we go to Video Templates. So here, we're doing the Child's Park one, but whatever you're looking for, I'm going to put flowers and logo stings or openers. I'm going to go logo stings. And these are just really short animations that are, we're going to edit. So I've picked this colorful flowers one. I download it and then open the zip file. And then in the zip file, you usually have the project file. You also usually have a tutorial on how it works. So this is like a four or five minute tutorial on how to edit things. But I'm just going to take a little dive in and figure out how to do it and just show you what to look for. So I opened the logo reveal and it's right here. You might get something that says this is an older project. The original file uh, will be unchanged. It's just going to make a new file. We're going to hit OK and we're going to load this up. So looks a little complicated, but what we already know about Premiere Pro uh, and kind of timeline sequences is that this is our timeline sequence and these are our, all of our different layers. But some of them are nested. So for instance, uh, this right here, if we double click on your web ad, that is this right here. If we go to, for instance, your logo, uh, the logo is right here, so on and so forth. So we're actually gonna take the logo or take the web ad and we're going to delete that. You can see that there's another little thing right there. So that's actually, you gotta kind of like search and look around. That's probably going to be the shadow for some, some things too. So double click in here and we can actually take that video hive and delete. So that's gone. We have our logo, but that's not our logo, right? So let's double click in here and we're gonna delete that logo, but we're going to add some text. Up here is a toolbar and I'm just going to left click and drag and we're going to write child's park. I have on the right side over here a couple of different things so this is Times New Roman for instance I'm going to change that uh, let's go to uh, we'll just go to right now phosphate and we'll change this to a gray. So we now can then move this over with the selection tool. And we just replaced that logo and deleted the other thing. So if we go back to the main composition, we still have this kind of cool little flower thing come up, but now instead of the logo, we have Child's Park or whatever we want to put there. And it's a nice professional, neat template that we just really quickly edited. In order to export, instead of exporting in After Effects, we go to Composition, and add to render queue. So instead of exporting like in Premiere Pro, it's called rendering. And we just need to know that the output uh, is fine, that's lossless, and then the output two, this is where we're gonna rename it and save it. So in this case, we're going to name this Child's Park Intro, and we're going to save this to our local and whatever we're working on. So for instance, if I go to, um, if I go to my uh, Child's Park video montage, I'm going to save this to the media folder and hit save. Then, last thing you do is render. So, really easy. Some templates are a little bit more complicated than others. Uh, some of them are Premiere Pro stuff, but you have their tutorials, you have this tutorial, and just try to reverse engineer what's going on in your main composition in order to edit the nice templates.